Welcome home, Dave. Nice to see you, Clive. It's wonderful that you're able to come here. And um, I'd just like to take the opportunity of, firstly, before I fire a couple of questions at you, um, I'd just like to say this as a Kiwi and, um, and on behalf of all of us at RHFA and indeed New Zealand Football, I think it's um, <clears throat> a wonderful thing that you've achieved so far. And uh, not only it should have proved to New Zealanders that um, you have to go away playing the game of football to be a success in the game, I think it's wonderful you've had a really, really great trot at Brentford and, uh, and now you're, you're in the hot seat at, uh, at the Fulham Club. So on behalf of all Kiwis in, the, in this game here, congratulations on what you're doing. I would hope, and after having witnessed um, where you're actually at with your own career here, uh, looking at the long term, I hope that New Zealand football is, uh, is, is aware of uh, where you're at and what you're, what you're up to. And uh, because you're no different to a player, so well done, well done. Thank and um, again, thanks for being here. I, I guess the, uh, it's a while since you've been here, and um, I know that you were, you were at Christian College for, for a long period of time, well, and uh, North and North and football and that sort of thing, and always did very well there as well. So we appreciate that you're here. You, you've had now that you're moving into your second weekend here now. Mm -hmm. So you've had a good chance to have a look at uh, how we're actually set up in the Ricky Hubert Football Academy and the facilities that we're using and some of the players. So just to, just in general terms, how are we actually looking since you were last in New Zealand? Well firstly, thanks very much for the sentiment, I appreciate that and, and just to be clear, I'm one of many good operators at Fulham and I've still got a long way to go myself uh, in terms of my coaching journey but it's great to be here and be able to affect uh, some young Kiwi players and, and have an input and see what the talent's like. In terms of where things are at, look, if I'm honest, there is a technical gap between you know, the difference of levels. But what I, what I am excited about is the coachability and the desire to learn of the players within the academy. I think it's really exciting to see young kids asking questions, being forthright, uh, and making sure that they're really trying to focus as much as they can on their football when they're here. I think it's exciting to see some uh, some young talent. Uh, last weekend we had the sevens to elevens, and there were some really exciting little footballers in there. And I think in the older age group, um, there are some very raw players, but certainly some players who've got attributes to hopefully go further on their own pathway. I think I think one of the things that's <coughs> impressed me with your approach and and the full uh, club's approach, obviously, is is the fact um, that. It's all about developing individual players mm -hmm. and working on their strengths and encouraging them to get better in certain areas. And I, I, I've, been, I've been very impressed with that. It hasn't been, a, um, you don't appear to be operating on um, on a short term basis. Absolutely. Uh, it appears to me that um, if you're good enough at Fulham, you do get the opportunity to develop just not only as a footballer but as, as a person. and. Uh, and that's something that we believe that we're quite strong in New Zealand as well. Mm. Um, it's just not a case. I think there are other academies, you touched on the Phoenix, which would obviously go down a different path mm -hmm. because they want the cream off the top at that stage and they can get stuck in and get the players mm -hmm. into there. But I, I think it's marvellous that we've got this association with you mm -hmm. where the Fulham Club's all about development, the same as us. Um, yeah, look, I think, I think there's a real focus, as I've said in the presentations here, there's a yep. focus on character first. Yep. Um, there's also a huge desire for the club to retain players, as yep. I said, 75% from foundation to YDP, which is youth development phase, and then YDP onto pro development phase, and obviously through that, the scholarship process for those older players. So we're trying to create an environment at Fulham where players are exposed, they're stretched, they're put out of their comfort zone, but we're very much focusing on a holistic approach where yep. we can develop the person as well as the player. Yep. And I can see that you guys have got some cultural uh, sort of yeah. norms and cultural values here that, that are really strong and they're yeah. evident in the way that the players behave. And that's another thing that stood out for me is the character of the players, the humble Kiwi kid yeah. still very much exists. Um, and I think it's important that they stay grounded, that they also show that desire and self-belief to know that they've got to go and back themselves yeah. to be a player. Yeah, good. I, I've, I've noticed also, um, I can't help but notice, in the sessions um, that I've seen you run here, been very impressed on the basis that um, there's, there's 
all, there's always a competitive type situation. There's very little stuff that you've done uh, where players can just really cruise around. Mm -hmm. So everybody's got a job to do, and, 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 and I think your ability and your sessions have been great from the point of view that, that, that every player is getting involved in the situation, and, and, and I know just cruising around and talking to the players in general terms, and when I ask them the questions, stick it right on the players, or what have you actually learned today? Mm. And, and there's some really good positives, so you've gone across um, very, very well with all of the players, and, and I know from our, our, our coaches' point of view, too, they've really in, in enjoyed your company and your time. Yeah. And uh, and also, I'd, I'd just like to say this to you, too, I think it's been, uh, uh, it's been great that you've involved yourself. If a parent's come and ask you something, um, sure, you may be not going to tell them what they want to know, but um, or what they'd love to know, I should say, but but you know you've communicated well with everybody, and that's that's, that's been very much appreciated from our point of view. No problem. Um, I it would be marvellous thing for New Zealand football, and I'm not uh, going to ask you this direct question whether anybody's going to go to form, but over a period of time, as I understand it, I think we have a three -year, initial three-year association with you. So I'd like to believe as we're going along with your input, it'd be interesting to see how your reports back in England stack up. Uh, not only for us, but for you as well. And uh, so looking at the long term, let's hope that one day we might get a player there and, uh, and let's hope one day it might be a Kiwi boy playing back in the first team again, which would be so, great. Yeah. Um, from my family's point of view, Fulham has a, a, a bit of a soft spot, and of course. Um, he was there and played games there himself, but um, and of course that was the, the venue for his first uh, full international game as, as a coach against Australia. Mm -hmm. So uh, it was very close to home. And uh, and in conclusion, I uh, again I'd just like to thank you and the Fulham Club for being here, and uh, you've been absolutely brilliant. We've, we've all appreciated it very much indeed. No, thank you. Thank and you. I wish you all the best, time. mate, and I hope you come back and grab a check. <laughs> <laughs>